All right, today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to change out tooling on your single head semi-automatic filling machine. Here in front of me, we have the small set consisting of the funnel, the cutoff, and your auger. Here is the current setup on the machine with the long set. As you can see, it is hooked up to your air solenoid and it also has a reed switch that lets you know when the machine is in the open or the closed position. In order to swap out tooling and do a tooling change on this machine, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the reed switch because at this point it will be installed. Once that's disconnected, I'll disconnect the air off of the filling machine. Off. Once that's all free and clear, then I'm safe to go ahead and take out my funnel. I'll take out the funnel by loosening the bottom three thumb screws. So I place my hand underneath of it because it has a little bit of weight to it. And just loosen them up enough where I can then slide the funnel out. Inside of the filling machine, the auger is locked into an auger shaft. This prevents the auger from sliding up and out. I'm going to make sure that the machine is an e-stop. Then I'm going to go up the ladder, each reach in the machine, and turn that to that position. That gives me the ability to slide the auger up and out of the machine. I remove the inspection door. And simply reach in and turn the knob. Like I said, always do this when the machine is in e-stop position. Now I'm safe to lift up, rotate it to the quarter turn to the right, and then I can safely remove my auger shaft, or my auger, I'm sorry. Once I completed that, I can take my other auger, whatever set of tooling I'm putting in, find it, Turn it quarter of a turn to the left until it holds. Then I go back into the, up the ladder. Lock my shaft back into the lock position. Put my inspection door back on. Making sure that it's all the way on. Satisfying the hopper door inspection switch. Once I have that tightened in the position, I'm safe to take my funnel now. Slide my funnel up and in. And tighten down my thumb screws. Once I have them finger tight, I can rotate it in the position that I'm looking for. And then I can finish locking them down. I'm then the safe to hook up my limit switch and connect the air back up. And now I'm ready for filling.